plaster. Let's insert one end of the cable into the main port and another end to the loop back port. Turn on the tester. Choose the well map menu. We can read the result from the LCD screen, which shows us 1 to 1, 2 to 2, until G to G, and also displays pulse in the right top corner. It means this cable is a good shared cable. Now let's test a bad cable with reboot unit. Insert one end of the cable into the main port and another end to the remote RJ45 port. Turn on the test. Choose the well map menu. You can see the result from the LCD screen, pin 1 and 2, pin 4 and 5 is broken. You, and you can also see the ID number on the right top. ID 2, the remote ID is 2. And we can change the another side to the remote the ID shows 8 the remote is 8 with this function you can test 8 cables at one time to improve the work efficiency Then, I'd like to show test coaxial cable continuity. Insert one end of the coaxial cable into the BNC port of the master and another end to the remote BNC port. Coaxial and tail menu. Then we can see two pins display on the screen and also shows pass, which means this cable is a good coaxial cable. Next, we are going to measure LAN cable break point. Take out a network cable which is 60 meters, which we have new. Connect one end into the main port. The other end disconnects. Then choose the power and the length menu. We can see the result is 12.6 meters. This is to say, 12.6 meters has the break point of the cable. One more thing I'd like to state. If the arrow is a little large, we can use calibration function firstly, and that measure cable length will be more accurate. Then, let me show you how to chase LAN cable with our 388. First, unplug the LAN cable from the panel and insert the end of the cable into the RJ45 scan port. Turn the button to scan. The LCD screen shows scanning. We use the Amplifier Pro to get close to the switch. You will hear the 
hear a very clear and loud sound when you try to find out the target cable. Let's unplug it. There is no clear voice. Let me show you the polarity function now. Here we need clips. Let's connect it into RJ11 port and clip the battery with two clips accordingly. Then we turn on the tester. Choose the polar test menu. The voltage shows is 9.5. The red one 